On March 3rd, 2010, eight chefs gathered at the Pulaski Technical College Arkansas Culinary School for a place here at tonight's event. Chef Brian Deloney from Maddie's Place. Chef Jason Godwin from Simply the Best. Chef Timothy Morton from Restaurant 1620. Chef Jason Knapp from the Pulaski Technical College Big Rock Bistro. Chef Diana Bratton from Cafe 1217 in Taco Mama. Chef Daniel Capello from the Chanel Country Club. Chef Joseph McCullough from Best Impressions. And Chef Donnie Furneaux, owner of Furneaux, all competed for two spots in tonight's finale. Each chef had 40 minutes to prepare two servings of a dish using ingredients provided in a mystery basket. Let us share with you highlights of the preliminary competition. The battle began with Chef Deloney and Chef Godwin in the Battle of Flank Steak, Tomatillo, Asian Pear, White Cheddar Cheese, Whole Dill Pickles, and Tequila. The battle was fierce, but only one chef could prevail. Chef Jason Godwin won the battle of flank steak and advanced to the next round of competition. The next battle was between Chef Timothy Morton and Chef Jason Knapp in the battle of veal chop, taro root, carambola, gorgonzola, coffee grounds, and kalua. After an intense 40 minutes, Chef Knapp was victorious in the battle and advanced to the next round of competition. Moving on to the next battle, Chef Diana Bratton faced Chef Daniel Capello in the battle of cowboy ribeye, chayote, mandarin quats, brie, cornflakes, and red wine. two competitors impressed the judges but only one could move on and Chef Capello advanced. The next battle of the evening was between Chef Joseph McCullough and former Diamond Chef Donnie Furneaux in the battle of flank iron steak, Brussels sprout stocks, mangosteen, vodka, feta cheese and yellow mustard. Cola put up a good fight but could not take down the former Diamond Chef and for no advanced. So then we had two semi-final rounds. In semi-final round one, Chef Godwin faced Chef Knapp in the battle of Denver cut beef, kohlrabi, gooseberries, camembert cheese, rum, and saltine crackers. Only one chef could advance to the finale, and Chef Knapp received the nod to advance to the finale. In the second semifinal, Chef Capello faced Chef Furneaux in the battle of thin sirloin, fiddlehead ferns, passion fruit, cottage cheese, peanut butter, and brandy.
Chef Furneaux displayed a diamond chef effort, but could not beat the nearly perfect score that Chef Capello received. Now, Chef Capello and Chef Knapp had one last challenge. Who will earn the right to be called Diamond Chef Arkansas and be solidified as a culinary master? A mystery ingredient and three courses stand between one of these chefs and title. The 2010 Diamond Chef finale is about to begin. Are you ready?